Welcome back to Fox 6 News at Noon. From news to short films, it's Monday, and that means F-Stop. Your host, Kat Fricatis, joins us right now with today's special presentation. Hi, Kat. Hey, thanks, Kirby. Welcome to F-Stop. Today, we're taken to a post-apocalyptic world. In this bleak and hostile landscape, one man searches for answers and longs for intimacy in the short experimental film, The Omega Shell, by director Aaron Soto and producer Roberto Ayero. Here on the F-Stop.
You just watched the Omega Show. After the break, you'll get to meet the director and producer. Keep it here. I'm Kat Fricottis. You're watching The F-Stop on Fox 6. Stay with us. Welcome back to F-Stop. I'm here with the director of the Omega Shell, Aaron Soto, and the producer, Roberto Ayero. Welcome. Um, first things first, your cousins. You live in Tijuana. You live in San Diego. Was this your first project together? Um, actually, no. Uh, we shot two short films before, but this is like our first official film. Okay. Um, and you don't have any um, official film school training. You didn't go to film school in Tijuana mm. or here. So then where does, um, where does the skill and the technique and the ability come from? Um, actually, in Mexico, it's really, really hard to find film school. We have like only three film schools in the whole country. So uh, we have to learn by, by ourselves. Uh, shooting with VHS, high eight, super eight, when we were kids. And we have the chance to get a, a digital camera for this movie, and we shot it in five days last year. Five days in Tijuana? Yeah. Uh, and uh, what kind of budget did you guys have for the Omega <laughs> show? Which, mind you, I really did like that email that had a budget breakdown that said, um, tapes, $35, wood, stolen, $0, <laughs> and, you know, bodies, $3, garbage bags. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, we didn't have any money to this movie. So we went back to TJ, and we shot it, like, with, uh, old things, like recycled things, and... Stolen. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff like that. We have to eat, like, all Mexican burritos, like, from two weeks ago. And um, <laughs> we have the chance to work with these beautiful guys uh, from Tijuana, uh, a really, really, really And these guys are really group. interesting. They're, these are two brothers. One is a um, just phenomenal musician, and one is an artist, and you met them at a... Um, what was that? Yeah, we used to work together, and on uh, selling nachos and, and hot dogs and food at the swap meet. Well, how did you connect with them <laughs> for this project? Yeah, these guys are two brothers, Aldo Guerra and Edgar Guerra. Aldo Guerra is a beautiful, beautiful artist. He can make sculptures, sculptures paintings. He can do anything. And he did all of your... Um, the all the art direction and the makeup effects. But his brother, Edgar Guerra, he can make a beautiful music, any kind of music, from, from mariachi to orchestral, classical, funk, electronic. Uh, with just a, a, a small keyboard he bought it like from for 50 bucks and you just showed him a cut and he was composing as he was watching yeah they were like this this is like the real one wonder brothers it's the beautiful stuff okay. then we have the chance and the guidance of um, uh, robert schneider from southwest college where you're a student right? yeah i'm a student right there from for the last but not uh, in film um no it's actually it's a telemedia program okay. this is a really really cool program mm -hmm. where you can like make videos uh, look you can learn TV production and you can make films too and um, thanks to, to, to the guidance of Mr. Schneider we have the chance to finish the film and he's a professor of um, yeah he's of the what? coordinator of the telemedia department at Western okay. College and he's the man okay let's talk a little bit about the film and um, what it means to you what the symbolism is and if you could also touch upon your influences and how those I mean came into play with the symbolism you use oh yeah 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 actually the story behind the film is is about how sometimes we're looking for answers and we look like in everywhere but except within ourselves so the movies plays play is, is, is on a, on the future but uh, I have a, a lot of influence uh, by the cyberpunk movement that David Cronenberg, a really, really good filmmaker, uh, influenced me a lot. Okay. Uh, Are those I, influences for you as well, Cronenberg, um, cyberpunk? Yeah. Alejandro Jodorowsky, Luis and that Buñuel, was a, Could you talk yeah. about that short? It, it's a book. Is, is that it? The uh, word, the Alejandro? Oh, Did no, he, um, he's a filmmaker also. Um, right. One of his I thought best there was a films. short story with that. Mm, no. Um, Actually, El Topo, El Topo it used to be a, it's, it's a Mexican yeah. movie, okay. it used to be a really, really, really cool book. And um, that book and that story lead me to the same philosophy. Okay. And um, Alejandro, Alexander Jodorowsky and people like Lucio Fulci, Dario Argento, these guys show me how to do really amazing things 
with no money, with no budget. Mm -hmm. Like what? Uh, I, I mean, like anything. If, uh, if, if somebody likes this movie, they're going to love their stuff. Okay. These are really amazing filmmakers. What are your favorite filmmakers? To you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, to both. My Alfred Hitchcock, okay. um, Alejandro Jodorowsky, Luis Buñuel, um, there's so many. Yeah. Um, the, David Lynch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. The Evil Dead movies. I mean, I come, I come from horror and from the B-movies and from those places. Uh, you learn how to do really, really, really uh, cool stuff with no money. So these guys really uh, teach me how to do uh, something cool. Can you talk a little bit about where your film has screened? I know that you've won some prizes for this, for the Omega Shell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, this is, has been a really crazy and a really cool year for us. Uh, we, we, we won a, a Warren of Best Fest Film Festival. What was that like for you at the Best Fest? Um, it was real good. Um, they had a. Was this your first film festival experience? Um, yes, yes. How exciting was, was that seeing your film? It was real good. It was, um, it was real exciting just to be part of it, see what's going on, and you know, hopefully, be in more festivals. Okay. Um, yeah, and we're in Cuba right now, in Havana, Cuba. That's a really cool screening too. Okay. And uh, we have another screening on uh, the Southwestern Student Film Festival in December. That's going to be a really, really, if you want to see really cool short films, you need to be there. Okay. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, we're working right now in post-production of a new film. Uh, it's a really, really cool short, seven minutes, about this, uh, the loneliness of this child okay. in Mexico. Well, listen, thank you guys so much for coming. I really look forward to seeing your work and in the near future. So um, that's all the thank time you. we have for F-Stop today. I'm Kat Fricottis. Thanks for watching. Kirby, back to you. Okay, Kat, thank you. And thank you for joining us for Fox 6 News at noon and F-Stop today. Remember, we're back to Hot Topics Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday before Fox Rock.